Today is my last day in Florence and it is an absolutely stunning blue skied day. So it does make me want to go around to all the attractions again and retake the photos, but uh, I don't know if my little legs can handle it. And also there's a few things I want to see. So first up, I'm heading to the, to Uffizi, Uffizi, I think to the Santa Croce, um, where we, I want to go and see, well, we want to go and see the Birth of Venus painting. So we're going to go see the Birth of uh, Venus painting. Along the way, we we just kept stopping in at little bookshops. Oh, well, they weren't really little, they were quite big. At bookshops and um, we did pick up a few books. I love books, so. Um, but yeah, it is just, it's cold, it's freezing. I think it's, we're going for a high of eight degrees uh, Celsius today. Uh, so it, that's relatively cold, um, but it is just beautiful. Oh, the sky is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Rubbing the snout of this ball will ensure you will return to Florence. The first attraction we visit today is the Uffizi Gallery. There is just room after room after room of amazing sculptures and painted artwork. From the ground up to and including the ceilings, there is just so much to see here. And here is the main reason we visited today, The Birth of Venus Painting by Botticelli. Isn't it just beautiful? So we just went into the Uffizi, Uffizi, Uffizi Gallery, yes, and um, it was great. We got to see the Venus painting and some others that were just incredible. So the during the what's considered peak season, which today is the last day of peak season, the entry fee is 25 euros. So it is probably the most expensive entrance fee that we've paid for something, but um, kids are free, so that's great and um so there's so much in there though like there's just heaps of painting heaps of sculptures heaps of everything so you do need some time to go through that uh, gallery if you want to go through all of it um but it was great i enjoyed it um yeah and now i think i need to sit down and have a drink <laughs> of like a cup of tea and um yeah and on to the next thing
We stop at a small cafe for something to eat and drink. One thing that has intrigued me throughout this entire trip is the thickness of the hot chocolate. I am not quite sure what is in it, but it is so thick. Sometimes it feels even mousse-like. It doesn't detract from the yummy taste though. So good. So <laughs> we have about two hours until our um, until our train, or uh, just a bit over, about two and a half hours until we need to catch our train. Um, but I think we're both a little bit museumed out, out, out. Like it, we've seen so much in this last week and a half that um, it can feel a little overwhelming at times because there is just so much to see and there's so much to take in. Half the stuff I haven't even retained. I've taken so many photos to try and remember stuff. Um, but, so what we're going to do for the next two hours is just wander around and soak in all the atmosphere of the streets and just really enjoy our last few hours in Florence. And now it is time for us to say goodbye to Florence. It has been a wonderful couple of days, but now we are catching the train to our next destination. Actually, it's going to be two trains and a bus and it will take a few hours, but I am super excited to be visiting San Marino. We have made it from uh, Florence to Rimini and now we just have to try and find the stop for the bus that will take us to San Marino. Um, I think it's down there a little bit um, but yeah it's really super simple getting here. Um, well I mean I'll be able to actually verify that when I get to San Marino but um, yeah it's been super simple, uh, really easy, trains were great and um, yeah now let's go find this bus. We have made it to San Marino. Uh, the bus dropped us off, but now we're walking <laughs> up a very steep hill in order to get to our hotel for the night. Um, we are only here for one night and one day. Oh, we have to make the most of it tomorrow. Um, it was a trade-off. I thought we'd be better off spending the extra time in Venice than here, um, but I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't, I just, it's so hard sometimes when you're itinerary planning to get it right. But anyway, um, the bus was great. Uh, it picked you up outside of the Napoleon Hotel. Make sure you remember that. The Napoleon Hotel <laughs> at Rimini. Um, yeah, 50 minutes and we're here. So just a 10 minute walk up to the, and it is up, straight up uh, to the hotel. Oh, awesome. Can't wait to get.